today I'm going to be doing a review on the Cup It washer and spinner set. Um, I just got it from Amazon. It came in this box here. It's upside down, but pretty big box delivered by Amazon. And this is the Cup It machine. So it is, I, I did a couple washes in it already just to get the hang of it before I did this review. Um, it is super easy to use, guys. Super simple. It comes with two, um, what would I call these, hoses, plastic hoses. This hose detaches from here. And this side goes to the sink, but it can detach from here to the spinner side, which you can use to rinse. But this is the washer side, so you would have it here, and you could connect this side to your sink, and it fills up with water. So I did this one earlier, but I have to kind of like maneuver it closer to the sink, and I don't want to do that. So another way that you can also fill it up is just by filling it up with buckets of water. So that's what I'm doing right here. I have my water in my bucket and I'm going to pour it in. So this is what the inside looks like. It's pretty deep. I would say it's about two feet deep. Um, I'm able to wash basically like a full load what I would wash in the regular wash house. So this is the bucket of water. I'm doing this with one hand, one sec. So I'm gonna pour the water in there. And to get um, the full wash, it'll take up to three buckets of this. Three buckets, um, and this is about 10 liters. So three 10 liter buckets will give you the full wash. So as I'm filling up the second bucket of water, um, and like I said before, you can also detach this hose to the sink, and it'll just fill it up through the machine. But I'm just gonna do the buckets of water because it's easier, because we just went to the beach. So you can see a little bit of sand. It's still in there. I have to clean that out. But I'm going to be washing our beach clothes. Over here is a spinner side. I was really amazed with this spinner because it acts almost as if a dryer. The clothes that came out were pretty much dry with a couple of lightly damp spots on the clothes. So you, obviously, if you're full on this side, you will not put all the clothes in here. You would have to do probably split it into like... Uh, three-thirds of what's in there put it in here you place the topper on top of the clothes close the lid close the top and then you have an option of one to five minutes and then the drain when you're done here you drain it I will go through that as well you turn it to drain and this is the drainer here I drain it into my bucket some people drain it into the toilet but I just think it's unsanitary. I drain it into my bucket and then dump it in the toilet. And then this here is the the washer timer. So let's fill up our second bucket of water. Okay, so I have my um, washer full of the water and I'm going to put some clothes. You don't want to overfill it. You want to be careful not to do that. So I'm just trying to put like a couple of light pieces of clothes in there. Okay, that's how much I'm going to put. And then I'm going to get my laundry detergent and put a cup in there. So you just pour it in like you would any regular washer, guys. Pour it in there. Give it a little mix around before I start the cycle okay and then I'm just gonna grab my bucket and have my drainer put inside the bucket just in case anything drains out but it shouldn't because I'm not gonna have it on the drain yet okay so I set mine to about 10 minutes and look at that Super powerful. It goes counterclockwise from left to right. Very strong wash. It, um, the wash house that I have in my complex, it, it has the same amount of power, guys. Super strong. I super, super love this thing. Super love. And then just because I don't want to run this video too long, I'm going to take a sock and just show you. We'll lift this up. Both um, 
stations do run at the same time if you need. You put the sock inside, you put that down, close that. It uh, see it's getting started. This one has a sensor on it though. Once you open this black lid, the spinner stops. So you just turn it on and then turn it off whenever you're done or when the timer runs out. Open it up and voila, you'll have a clean dry sock. So this is the cup it. I really like it. I hope you guys love the video. Comment down below, subscribe. And before I go, I just want to show you the draining system. I'm going to put this up here. So I'm going to turn this off for you guys and just show you the draining. When I turned it on to drain, see? It begins to drain. I'm going to stop it though because I'm not ready for it to drain. Put it back on the wash. But that's the cup it, guys. There's no water on the floor. It doesn't leak at all. Super easy. Clothes come out super clean. Way, way more sanitary than it is to wash and public washing. I like it. It's cute for my apartment. Um, I hope this guy, this video helped you guys understand it. Stay safe out there. And much love, guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. 